Hello everyone. Hope you all doing well and welcome back to our Windows Server 2022 Beginners video series on MSFT webcast. In this video, we will see the steps on how to install and configure File Server Resource Manager in Windows Server 2022. File Server Resource Manager is a role service in Windows Server that enables you to manage and classify data stored on your file servers. We can use FSRM to automatically classify files, perform tasks based on these classifications, set quotas on folders, and create reports monitoring storage usage. In this example, we have single domain Active Directory Forest. Name msftwebcast.com. This is a Windows Server 2022 domain controller SRT22-DC01. In the first step, we want to install FSRM role on this server. We can install it through Server Manager or with Windows PowerShell. Let's install it through Server Manager first. Start the Server Manager and go to Manage, and then click Add Roles and Features. Before you begin page will pop up. Click through the before you begin dialog, installation type and select destination server pages accepting the defaults. On select server roles page, expand file and storage services, expand file and iSCSI services and select the checkbox for file server resource manager. When you do this, you will be prompted to add additional features. Click on add features. Make sure file server resource manager checkbox is selected. Click next. We don't need any additional features at the moment. I'm going to click next. On the confirm installation selection screen, click install. The installation process has been started successfully. Now sit back and wait for file server resource manager to install. Once done, click on close. File Server Resource Manager is now installed on our domain controller. Click on Tools and select File Server Resource Manager. First in the list is Quota Management. Let's take a look at Quota Templates first. These Quota Templates define the characteristics that you want to control through the quotas that you create. Let's double click on 100 MB Limit Quota Template. This will open Quota Template Properties. You can copy other template settings to this template using copy option. Expand the list and select the template you would like to use and then click copy. For example, let's select 2GB limit quota template and click on copy. We can confirm the property is copied successfully. This way, we can copy properties from any existing quota template to new template. Click cancel. Let's again double click on 100 MB limit. Let's understand other settings too. This 100 MB limit defines the limit on a specific folder. Hard quota forbid users from adding additional content after that 100 MB quota is exceeded. We use soft quota for monitoring purpose only. In most real world circumstances, it's best to set a soft quota first and then use that as your monitoring tool. When the folder hits 100 MB, well then set up these notifications. So as you approach it, sends emails, write events into event logs. Let's click Add under the notification thresholds, and for each of these, we can set additional notification thresholds that we want here. Using email threshold, we can send specific email message to that user who exceeded this threshold. We can configure an event log error, so a warning that gets popped into the event log. One assumes that in setting these event log errors, that you would have some solution monitoring the event log for exactly the error message that you are creating. You can also run a command. So if you have got a PowerShell command or a script or a VB script or even a batch script, you can pop up a report any time this threshold gets exceeded. Well then, go ahead and generate a report and send that report to one of the administrators that they are aware of the problem and then they have all the information, all the data they need in order to help that person then resolve the problem. Microsoft highly recommends that you use the templates as the mechanism to define the quotas. 
at the moment i'm not going to configure it click on cancel and again click on cancel if you would like to create your own custom quota templates you can do it by right clicking on quota templates and selecting create quota template from here you can set up quota properties as per your requirements let's copy properties from 100 mb template let's select 100 mb limit template and click on copy now specify the template name uh, which is going to be 50 mb limit in our case you can also add description for the scooter template change the space limit to 50 mb it is going to be hard quota we will use the default notification settings warning at 85 percentage warning at 95 percentage with email and event log and warning at 100 percentage with email and event log now click on okay to create custom quota template we can see the custom quota template has been created successfully open file explorer access e drive and create a new folder named fsrm test let's go back to fsrm management console let's see how we can create our own quota right click on quotas and select create quota click on browse and browse to the folder where you want to apply this quota in our case it is going to be fsrm test folder on e drive now one of the big things about choosing to create a quota on the specific path is that it doesn't do much if there are additional quotas that need to be configured sub to that location of the path when you choose first option it will limit entire main folder of volume the second option allows you to create an auto apply quota but the auto apply quota will automatically apply the template that you create or assign and then create the quotas on any existing and new sub folders to the path that you have selected so the second option will limit the sub folders it will not limit the main folder itself but sub folders within that folder in this example keep create quota on path selected here we can define where the properties are coming from whether it be from one of the templates or we can define custom quota properties click on custom properties to create our own template just like we have created custom quota template earlier you can define these properties to create custom quota properties click cancel let's select the first option and we will use the 50 mb template which we have created earlier let's select 50 mb limit template quota properties are mentioned here click on create the quota on specified path is created successfully now try to copy some files into that folder minimize the fsrm console and server manager dashboard for testing purpose i have created two sample text files on desktop let's begin by copying a sample file that's 48 mb in size go back to fsrm test folder on a e drive access fsrm test folder and paste the copied file success let's copy paste a second file into that folder copy 10 mb sample file now try to paste copied file into fsrm test folder again this time we will receive an error that there is not enough space on fsrm test folder this is due to 50 mb hard quota limit on fsrm test folder this means fsrm quota is working as configured let's check the corresponding event id 12325 in the application logs click on cancel open run menu type event wwr.msc and hit enter key expand windows logs and click on application log we can see the srm svc logs this is related to file server resource manager click on latest warning log we can see the log telling us that the administrator has exceeded the 96% quota threshold for quota on fsrm test folder the quota limit is 50 mb and the current usage is 48 mb since we haven't configured mail server settings in fsrm server properties 
FSRM was unable to send notification. We can see the errors related to that. To receive email notifications, you have to configure FSRM server properties. Go back to FSRM Management Console. Click on File Server Resource Manager, right click on it and select Configure Options. Specify SMTP server name or IP address, then specify the default recipient's email address to receive notifications and storage reports. To verify if the configured settings are working or not, click on Send Test Email. When ready, click on OK to save the settings. That's all for this video on how to install and configure FSRM in Windows Server 2022. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions and suggestions regarding this video, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.